As open water dwindles and ice-covered lakes become the norm, Iowa's wildlife goes in search of a rapidly disappearing food source. Here on the Middle River, eagles gather amongst the treetops for a fresh meal, but plenty of birds aren't as keen. That's what makes this time of year a bird feeding extravaganza. Few joys are as simple as birding in Iowa, and it doesn't mean cold hours spent trekking across our state in search of an elusive migratory guest. While it can be very enjoyable, you don't have to camp out at one of Iowa's abundant bald eagle feeding grounds. Stephen Dinsmore has a passion for bird watching. We've got a bunch of these tube feeders like this, so yeah. yeah. That's great. Good stuff there, all full and ready for the birds. And has turned his backyard into an oasis for Iowa's woodpeckers, flycatchers, and songbirds. What kind of birds are we going to find in Iowa in the winter that people might see in their backyard? Yeah, there's probably about uh, 15 or 20 really familiar birds uh, that, are, that are in backyards in winter in Iowa. So the standard things like blue jays and northern cardinals mm -hmm. are really common. In the winter, we get some other visitors, things like dark-eyed juncos, uh, maybe an American tree sparrow, some other resident finches, things like house finches and American goldfinches are state birds. So there's a, a lot of diversity like that, but probably about 15 or 20 species of birds would be real typical of most yards. According to the National Audubon Society, there are nearly 50 million bird watchers in the United States. And Iowans play a significant part, spending more than $300 million each year viewing wildlife, using everything from seed to feeders and binoculars, even wildlife watching trips. Dr. Stephen Dinsmore, an avian ecologist at Iowa State University, was the past president of Iowa Ornithologists, which boasts 425 members statewide. During the winter, Dr. Dinsmore has 18 to 20 active feeders in his yard. He reduces the summertime number, but adds six to eight hummingbird feeders. He's also planted an area in his yard specifically for birds. The seeds and berries provide food, and the plants provide cover from predators. A nearby pond provides year-round water. I went through an, a, a series of trial and error with uh, bird baths, so you could have heated bird baths. And I've, I've done that before and had problems with uh, deer tipping them over in the winter and things like that. So I, I went a step further and I put this, um, this ornamental pond in my yard. And then in the wintertime, I take out the pump system and I put a little small um, low amp heater in there oh. and a really small pump to kind of keep a little bit of water circulation. And the pump, uh, this pond never freezes. So it stays, I mean, it'll freeze down in the coldest of weather, but there's always a little bit of open water. And invariably that's where the birds go for, for their water supply in the winter. So it's really important. That really, I think gives me an advantage with respect to attracting birds. So these are the shelled peanuts here. And so those go in and there's a kind of a mesh grate here and the birds can come up and cling to this and then they can go ahead and, and access the peanuts there and they end up breaking them into small pieces to get them out. According to Dinsmore, the best seed for drawing a variety of birds is black sunflower. However, he mixes a special blend. So this is a mixture of black oil sunflower, sunflower chips, and then the white seeds are safflower. And I kind of do mostly black oil and chips with just a little bit of safflower. And this is really a favorite of a lot of the ground feeding birds. So I take a good few handfuls of this, and then I just scatter it here on the ground underneath the feeders. Dinsmore's approach is a surefire way to experience the simple wonders of Iowa's birds and the occasional guest. Even in a mild winter, a cold front can transform your home into the perfect viewing platform. And another reason to enjoy Iowa's outdoors.